Now, sa video ito, dito na tayo sa part B. At uulitin ko ulit. Don't just copy our solution. That will never help you. Isolve mo muna itong number 1 and number 2 dito. Bago nyo panoorin ang video ito. So, kung hindi mo pa siya na-solve, i-post mo muna ngayon. Sagutan nyo muna bago panoorin ang video ito. Let's read the instruction. Identify whether or not each of the following situations illustrates quadratic equations. Justify your answer representing each situation with a mathematical sentence. Quadratic equation. What is a quadratic? What is a quadratic equation? It is an equation that contains at least one term that is squared. Now, dito mo na tayo sa number one na word problem. The length of a throw pillow is 64 centimeter longer than its width, and the area is 110. Ano nga ba ang formula ng area? Length times width equals area. Given yung area natin, which is 110. Now, let W be our width. Kasi hindi man given si width. Now, yung length. The length of a throw pillow is 64 centimeter longer than its width. That means width plus 64. Yan yung length. Again, ito yung given. Ang given ay meron tayong area which is equals to 110. Yung width natin, so let W be our width kasi hindi man siya given. Yung length natin, it will be width plus 64. Kapag sinabing 64 longer than, that means plus 64 sa width. So ito na yung equation sa problem na ito. I-rewrite lang natin. W plus 64, yan yung length. I-multiply natin sa width. And that is equals to 110. Now, i-multiply natin ito. W times W, that is W squared. W times 64, and that is yung plus sign natin. 64 W equals 110. Gawin natin standard form. Ikip lang natin si W dito, squared, plus 64W. Ngayon, itong 110, itranspose natin sa kabila, maging minus 110. Kasi, positive siya dyan. In other words, nag-minus tayo ng 110 to both sides, 110 to both sides, para makancel out na ito. So, ilalagay na natin si 0 dyan. Ito na yung standard form. At ito ay quadratic equation kasi mayroon tayong squared. Next, dito tayo sa number 2. I-identify ulit natin kung makabuo ba tayo ng quadratic equation dito sa number 2. Basahin muna natin. Pearl will put wire around a rectangular lot with a width of 20 meters and length that is 2 times its width. How many meters of wire will she need? Yata yan siya. Around a rectangular lot, meaning perimeter. 
perimeter is equals to twice its width plus twice sa length. Perimeter means itong buo. Ito ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang total niyan. Given ang width, which is equals to 20 meters. So this is 20. I-multiply natin sa 2. Next. Itong si length. Length is 2 times its width. So, si length daw ay 2 times its width. 2 times 20. Kasi yan yung width natin, 20. Bago kopyahin itong 2 na na i-multiply natin sa length. Kasi dalawa yung length sa rectangle. Now, obviously, this is not not a quadratic equation kasi wala dyan na variable na na square. Masolve natin ito. This one is 40. Next. Solve muna natin ang nasa loob. That is equals to 40. Tapos 40 times 2 is equals to 80. 40 plus 80 and that is equals to 100 20. So, ang sagot dito sa number 2 ay 120. How many meters of wire will she need? 120 meters.